I'm Karis and I'm a first year on the Music and Sound Recording degree. Hi, I'm Matt, I'm a second year Music and Sound Recording student. Hi, I'm Jess, I'm a third year Music student. Hi, I'm Ali, I'm a third year Music student. Welcome, Welcome to the Music, music department. department. <laughs> I'm going to take you on a tour today and we're going to start in the concert hall. Come on, follow me. So there's 350 seats in our concert hall and we also have two Steinway pianos and an organ. All of our large ensemble rehearsals happen in here, so we have the symphony orchestra, we have Chimera, we have Zamar, we have the Baroque ensemble and we also have our university choir. So we have a student lunchtime concert series that happens in here as well as a professional one in the evening that's been streaming online over the COVID-19 pandemic. We also do our, all our undergraduate final recitals in this concert hall as well. Let me show you one of our practice rooms. Each practice room has a piano, acoustic treatment, a music stand, mirror and also custom lighting. These rooms are available to book by all of our students, no matter what instrument they play, and the pianos are tuned regularly. There's loads more to show you, come on follow me. The Lion Studio and Matt's going to talk about that later but I'm going to show you the seminar rooms and the instrument store. So these are some of our instrument lockers so you can use these to store any of your instruments that you can't carry home with you. And this is one of our seminar rooms. Ali, he's going to talk to you about some of our seminar rooms. Hi, this is E120 and is a standard room with a piano and a forte piano. It's largely used for small group teaching and also has lecture capture available. If you'd like to come with me, I'll now show you the extension block. Welcome to the Gamelan Room. We're incredibly fortunate at the University of York as this is the first UK university to have a full set of Javanese Gamelan. We've also got a collection of Thai instruments as well as other non-Western music resources. This is the large instrument storage room and is mainly used for students to store cellos and double basses. And this is our 5 8. This is our second large performance space in the department. We've got a couple of grands, a couple of uprights, a forte piano, and a harpsichord, as well as a collection of percussion. This room is largely used for rehearsals and lectures and it's basically a miniature version of the concert hall. If you'll follow me now, I'll introduce you to Karis, who'll show you around the studios. This is Karis, and she'll be showing you around some of the studios. Hi everyone, and welcome to the Music Research Centre, where most of our lectures, practical seminars, and concerts take place. Let me show you around. This is the Trevor Jones control room and it's the flagship studio for the department where most of the teaching and practical demonstrations take place. So if you take a look around, you'll see lots of MIDI keyboards, synthesizers, and some really cool outboard gear, like the 1176, Neve EQ, 
and also a Bracasti reverb. But if you ask anybody on the music and sound recording degree what their favourite part is of this studio, there is a very good chance that they will say this desk. So this is an industry standard SSL Duality Delta mixing console. It has 24 channels that tie directly into the live room next door. So we're really fortunate here that you're actually able to book into any of the studios just two weeks into your degree. Regardless of what year you're in, you have access to any of them and it's really fantastic. Follow me and I'll take you into the live room. This is the Trevor Jones live room. It's actually quite a sizable space that's suitable for both solo and larger ensemble recordings. And you can even move the baffles in the space to adjust the size of the room, whatever your recording desires. Within the department, we also have some really cool kit available, which in particular is our microphones. We've got some classics like the Neumann U87s and the AKG C414s, and some more fun ones like the Sontronic Sigma and the Aston Starlights, as well as pretty much any Shure dynamic microphone that you can think of. In this space as well, we also have a dedicated vocal booth down at the other end, which has been treated specifically for vocal recordings. So this is the RVW studio that is typically used by our students for mixing and mastering and sound processing. So if you take a closer look at the monitors, all of our computers in the studios run on Mac OS, which means it can support all of the industry standard doors like Logic, Ableton, Cubase, Pro Tools. If you use a door, there's probably a good chance that we already have it. This space is really cool because it works on 5.1 surround sound, but one of my favorite features is the old synths that are included in here, such as the VCS3. Follow me to meet Matt in the Rhyma Auditorium. So this is Matt and he's going to tell you a bit more about the Rhyma. So this is the Rhyma Auditorium. Uh, it seats over 100 people. Um, it's a specialist listening environment. Uh, which has a lot of speakers in. So we've got one rig, which is the Genelec 5.1 surround system. Uh, then we've also got an Ambisonics rig for student work. And that's basically three dimensional sound. So you've got depth, you've got left and right, and you've also got height represented. Um, so that's really cool to listen to in here. And then we've also got the Fazioli piano. Um, and yeah, it's really nice to have listening, workshops, uh, seminars, lectures in here, um, as well as the York Concert Series, which um, sometimes there's some concerts in here throughout each term. Um, but it's a lovely environment to listen to music in, um, and you'll have lots of lectures here in first term. Let's go and show you the Lion Studio. So this is the Lion Studio, um, it's just recently been refurbished. Uh, we've got the new Genelec 8351 sound monitors, um, so they're DSP controlled and tuned to the room, so it's fantastic to monitor through them. Um, got also the B&W speakers, which are um, similar to the ones they use at Abbey Road, um, and the brand new Mac Pro, which is amazing, super fast. So we've got tie lines that go straight into the concert hall, which allows you to record concerts, ensembles, etc. Um, and we've also got a permanently rigged uh, DPA Deca tree, um, which is also going straight through our ISA preamps there. Um, the entire building is networked, so we've got a red net system in place, which means that you can record any space uh, from any of the studios using uh, the portable red net rigs. Um, and we're also going to put red net in the new studios, which I'll show you in a second. It's a really nice place to monitor, mix and finalize your music. So now we're going to show you some social spaces, the undergraduate kitchen, um, as well as some more exciting stuff downstairs. So 
here is Concert Hall Foyer, um, so it's a really nice place to hang out in between lectures, after concerts. Um, you've also got the Lions Bar which opens up uh, when we have concerts here. So in here is the undergraduate kitchen, so quite often students will leave their stuff in here, come and get water um, throughout the day of working department um, and it's a really nice place just to hang out and meet people. Um, also through here we've got the media room um, which runs Spadius and all the computers so you can come in here and get work done as well. So uh, through here is something really exciting but I can't show you what it is. Um, so it, we're basically building two new studios, um, one featuring completely inline console, the um, Audion ASP4816 uh, and the other has a 24 track tape machine in it. Um, so what's a really good thing about all of these studios is that they're all going to have different monitoring so you can check your mixes in between each studio. Uh, these studios are going to have KRK V8s and Genelex in. So the studio is going to be online by September 2021. So now I'm going to show you Sally Baldwin D and C block. So this is Sally Baldwin D block where we've got music reception as well. So there's a lot of staff offices in here as well as extra practice spaces and lecture spaces. Um, and here there's even more practice rooms in Sally Baldwin C block. Thanks for watching. We hope to be able to show you around in person soon. Bye. 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 Bye.